Tony Blair announces that he thinks that everybody in the United Kingdom should have a digital ID. Now, after the events of the last, what, two years where the government has taken an ever-increasing role in the lives of everyday citizens and, in, and becoming more and more intrusive, do we really want the government to have control over us accessing things like banking, possibly getting a job, or providing identification for doing important everyday things? The answer is obviously no. Let's look at this video on from GB News to see what a digital ID could potentially look like. Uh, but Adam Brooks, do you agree with me? I agree with you. Um, digital ID is basically equals control for governments. Um, it opens the door to a social credit ratings, uh, to digital currencies. It just means that everything in our life could suddenly be on our phone. Now I'm on my phone too much anyway, but if that thing runs out of battery, Suddenly I can't pay for things or I can't get my medical records up if I need it. Yeah, or it, if you haven't had whatever the latest vaccine uh, is. Yeah. I, I mean, what, what, what's Blair's obsession it's, with this? It's been for decades. I mean, for decades he's but wanted to he control... What's he got in it? I don't know. It, it makes me wonder what his agenda is. Yeah. Is this him doing it? Or is there someone else behind the scenes pushing him? I don't know. But what do you think it's about? Well, my first question whenever Tony Blair suggests anything is A, to automatically want to do the opposite and wonder how much money he's making out of it. Mm. Tony Blair never does anything unless there's something in it for him. Your potential certifications I... and private data could potentially be leaked or hacked. We don't know. If it's online, then that's a very real possibility that we could face. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I think we really need to push back against the idea of the state having such a large role in our lives because that's what it's all about 15 minute cities um 15 mini minute cities mass immigration the globalists have their plan and this is their plan and tony blair is one of those men he wants the government to have control over almost every little part of your life he wants to stay want to see what you buy when you buy it what you tweet who you follow and easily declare people as risks or not and if someone is actually a criminal, then I guess you can just shut down their passport or, <laughs> or shut down their ID. And that may be helpful in some scenarios, but what happens when the person that has that legislative power doesn't agree with your worldview? What if they see you as evil and you're not necessarily evil, but you just have a different viewpoint? What if your viewpoint isn't necessarily societally acceptable in today's world? It could be a very real possibility that people like me and you who have, let's say, not politically correct opinions, could be in danger of this type of cancellation. This is Reason, and I'm Liam. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.